But did you know there's a greater king than King Charles? As I've been giving out leaflets about King Charles today, people have said, I don't want to think about him. Some people have said quite bad things about King Charles. Hey, you're the one who I heard say that before. Right, okay, my friend. But what about Jesus? What do you think about Jesus, sir? He's the saviour, this man. Right, okay, uh, we can agree on that. He's the saviour. Now, what is special about today? Answer me now. I can see some people have got crowns on their heads. What is special about today? This doesn't happen every day, does it? Doesn't happen every year. Doesn't happen every century. What is happening today that is so special? You know what it is. It's the coronation of our king. Now, I wonder how many people in Southport today are royalists? Is that a controversial question? They reckon now that most people below the age of 40 do not give a rip about the king. They don't care about the monarchy. I wonder if there's people over the age of 40 today who don't care about the monarchy. But I'm asking you today, what's going through your mind? What are you thinking? Are you just happy? On Monday, you've got a bank holiday. What is going through your mind on this day, today, where we have a king who is now getting his crown? What's going through your mind today, people of Southport? Are you happy? Do you care? Do you give it much thought? What's going through your mind? So I've got a question here on the board. As you can see, we've got King Charles here. And I'm asking you this very big question. How do we meet the queen, uh, the king, sorry. How do we meet the king? What would I have to do to meet the king? What do you think? What if I rang up the king and said, uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Charles, I'd like to come and see you. If I ring the king up, will he give me a chance to see him? What do you think? The gentleman with the nice cap. What do you think? Do you think he'll let me see him with a phone call? What do you reckon? He won't, will he? Okay, what about this? I could ask him, I could write a letter and say, uh, Prince Charles, I'd like to see you. What do you think? If I write a letter to Prince Charles, to King Charles rather, will I be able to meet the king? I won't, will he? Uh, maybe I'll get a letter back, but I very much doubt I'll go to Buckingham Palace and meet the king. What about this one? What if I do? Have, has anyone ever seen the film The BFG? Do you know in the BFG with that little girl, she climbs through the window? What if I break into Buckingham Palace? Will I be able to meet the king? No. Well, very possibly, but it's likely I'll get arrested and I could get done for all kinds of things. For those who are going by, I'm asking you, how could I, as an average Joe, my name's Joe, by the way, how could I meet the king? What about this one? What if the king invited me to come and see him? Would I then be able to meet the king? What do you think? I would, wouldn't I? And I'm asking you this very big question. We're talking about Prince Charles. How do I, King Charles, how would I meet King Charles? And he would have to come and invite me. So I'm telling you, King Charles people have got different opinions. Again, there was a poll that was done. Many people below the age of 40 say they don't care at all about the monarchy. But I'm telling you about a greater king. Do you know King Charles? He might sit on a throne, he might see himself as a, a good, upstanding citizen, if you like, but you know King Charles is a sinner. I wonder, I wonder if we could see everything that King Charles has ever seen in his life, and we put it on this board, do you think King Charles would be embarrassed? Let me flip the question back on you, if you think you're giving him it, are you putting him in the hot seat? What if we could see everything you've seen in your life, and we put it on this board, for everything I've seen in my life? King Charles is actually a sinner. Uh, King Charles today will wear a crown, won't he? He'll have a big, lovely gold crown on his head. Do you know the king I'm going to tell you about? Jesus Christ. He also wore a crown. It wasn't a glamorous crown. It was a crown of thorns that hurt him, that pierced his skull. Again, I said King Charles. Some people might have different opinions. King Charles is a sinner, but Jesus was sinless, this king. Now, here's something really interesting. This is going to tap into your brain a bit. Are you ready for this? King Charles will one day die and he'll lose the throne, he'll be dethroned by death. You know, Jesus died. On the third day he died, but on the third day he rose from the dead. Death did not dethrone him. Death could not keep him down. This king can, is risen and he forever reigns. And I'm asking you today, are you thinking about this king? Are you thinking about Jesus? We might think about King Charles, but are you excited that there is a king who sits in heaven right now and rules and he wants a friendship with you? King Charles, again, I'm not saying anything offensive, I don't hope this doesn't upset anyone, but I doubt King Charles is overly interested in meeting you. And yet, this King, Jesus Christ, he's desperate to meet you. 
Just look at the cross. Look at the great lengths he went to on that cross. Him there, bleeding, dying there, because he wants a friendship, a relationship with you, and he wants to offer you forgiveness of sins. I've messed up in life. I've told lies. I'm a sinner. I'm not a good person. But Jesus cares about me enough to die on that cross, and he cared about you also. If there's anyone who's got any questions or you want to talk about it, please come and chat to us. If you'd like a portion of the Bible to learn more about this man Jesus, just come and take it. It's absolutely free. God bless you and thank you for your time.